Fox 21 and the Colorado Springs Independent are teaming up once again for this year's Give campaign. We'll be highlighting local organizations that need your help. And joining us tonight is Larry Stebbins from Pikes Peak Urban Garden. So thanks so much for coming in well, tonight. Thanks, we really Mickey. appreciate it. Well, appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So you're a retired uh, educator. You, yeah. You just started this up, what, four years ago? About four years ago. Yeah, we started an organization to help start community gardens around yeah. our city. And you just harvest, harvested this on your way over, right? So yeah, this, this, is nice and this fresh. came from the Galileo Greenhouse Project. Nice. with District 11 and we're growing lettuces for the school lunch program there. That is such a great idea and you brought along a little sample, a little uh, demo here of the community garden. Kind of explain it and tell what its purpose is. Well a community garden uh, it takes uh, usually uh, land that's not used mm -hmm. uh, and uh, starts it uh, to help uh, so the folks there in the community can come together and grow fresh vegetables. And this is just a little plot here to show how one is done. This is just a four by eight bed mm -hmm. to show what could be planted in that. And we have nine community gardens around town that we're managing and, uh, and we really appreciated the help and the support of this community to help us move forward. I'm sure, and that's not an easy job. I know when I was a kid, my grandma would always make yeah. me go out in her garden, and snap the beans or pull but the beans. But it's fun, but it was but fun, right? Yes. I it, mean, it's fun. When it's, you it's, sit down to dinner and you have those fresh vegetables, oh, nothing it's like amazing. It. I know, and that's what that's what people have. we when we have kids come to our demonstration garden at mm -hmm. Harlan Wolf Ranch, they will eat things that their parents say they would never would yeah. have tried, such as spinach, and they're munching on fresh carrots, and we love to see that. Right. And uh, and this is what gets the families going is to see that their kids actually enjoy it if they know where it comes from. Right, and I'm sure if they were part of the growing process too, that they feel like they almost have to eat it. They made well, it, you know. <laughs> and, and we're seeing that over at Galileo too. Mm -hmm. uh, we get into in the kitchen after we deliver the lettuce inside the kitchen. They wash it up and get ready. And we see the kids, they know where it comes from, and they're eating more salads and more, and this is fresh and organic, yeah. and it's, it's wonderful to see that. Tastes completely different than what you find at the store, right? Oh, it really, well, it does. <laughs> it's sweet. And we're leaving that with you guys, so you guys can have oh, a sandwich. Oh, good. We'll make the, a nice sandwich tonight. I think so. That'd so, be good. Very good. All right, well, tell us a little bit about why the donations and the money from the Give Campaign are so important to your organization. Well, all of the money that we raise goes toward materials and supplies to mm -hmm. start community gardens. And this year, like I said, we have nine. We have a wait list for people to get into wow. them, and we need to get more community gardens going. The money's going to go to the Harrison Community Garden. It'll okay. go to the Dorchester Park Garden. And those are gardens that are in some areas of town that could need a little help. Mm -hmm. And people come together. It brings families together, and it's really a wonderful thing. So when the community supports it, it brings, uh, it brings a lot of people together that normally wouldn't be talking to each other to grow fresh vegetables, and it's wonderful. So. Any ha idea on how much you're looking to raise or crossing your fingers hoping well, that you raise? Well, the first year we raised 7000 Last year we raised uh, 20000 and this year we're looking for 40000 Wow, very good. And yeah, we're hoping. Now, there's probably folks sitting at home that want to give to the Give Campaign. What's your spiel to them real quickly to go ahead and pick Pikes Peak Urban Gardens? Well, we think that if communities can come together to use some land that isn't being used for the benefit to bring communities together, mm -hmm. it really does strengthen neighborhoods. Not only that, it brings healthy food into the families. And uh, this is some of the best work that I think that, uh, that some of those vacant lots could be used for. So we're really hoping that people can help donate. Cool. Sounds like a good job to me. All right, Larry, so nice to meet well, you. Thank Thank you, Thanks for coming in. Thanks. Appreciate Enjoy it. Enjoy the salad. We huh? will. We'll just need some bread now. I think so. <laughs> well, still to come tonight, or first of all, if you would like to give to the Give Ham campaign, you can do so by going to our website, coloradoconnection.com, and clicking on the Give logo. You'll find it at the top of our homepage.